Hi, my name is Tess Tenney. I am a stay-at-home homeschooling mom of four young boys. On this channel, you will find me sharing traditional and nutritious recipes I make from scratch for my family. In this video, I am sharing some of my family's favorite meals from the past week or so. Winter here in the South has finally caught up to us, and these days I find myself craving rich, carb-heavy, and indulgent foods. We are at home a lot more, and in the evenings I do enjoy making some of these foods that require a little bit more time to prepare. So. Let's start with the first video that I have to share today, which is pumpkin chili. I start with chopping fresh herbs and onions and then frying them in my Dutch oven with about two tablespoons of coconut oil. I think the, the nutty creaminess of pumpkin pairs really well with the classic earthy Mexican spices like cumin and oregano. I'm throwing in turmeric too because I'm Indian and that's just what we do. I also added some chipotle pepper, black pepper and salt, throw in tomato puree, black kidney beans and mix it all really well and then I simmered it on low. When the chili simmers, I brown some ground beef with lime, cilantro, chopped onions, salt, and pepper. What I like about this cooking method um, is that the pumpkin chili itself is gluten-free and vegan, and then the toppings are customizable to personal preference. For toppings, I used sour cream, onions, and cilantro, and the rest of the family, of course, added the ground beef on top. And there you have it. There was my pumpkin chili. It was good. up we're going to make some creamy baked pasta I started with boiling some pasta with salt water and then I chopped some onions made a roux with flour and butter and fried the onions with the roux to create the base of the sauce I boiled some potatoes, cracked an egg, and then made a sort of potato dough together by mixing the egg and the potato. To my skillet, I added some nutmeg, some turmeric, as always, uh, white pepper, I added cream cheese, ham, and almond flour, and then I added my pasta, mixed it all in after letting the sauce thicken a little bit. I topped this with mozzarella cheese, some fresh herbs, I'm using celery, and then finally some diced tomatoes. And that sort of added a nice freshness to an otherwise carb-heavy meal. So we also got to enjoy some of the leftovers for lunch the next day, which was an added bonus. Um, this was a really delicious meal. Up next, we have the dish that was everybody's favorite from this week, and that's pasta in a lemon cream sauce with seared scallops. For the sauce, I made a roux with coconut oil and flour, to which I added chicken stock. I really like the Better Than Bullion brand of chicken stock that I buy from Walmart. It makes really delicious base for all types of soups and sauces. Next, I added some cream cheese, a cup of heavy cream, juice from a whole lemon, and finally fresh basil.
to sear the scallops, I let the cast iron skillet get nice and hot before throwing the scallops in and cook for about 6 minutes on each side. I think paired with a nice glass of wine, this meal would be a really simple and delicious date night dinner. The spicy basil taste was a perfect complement to the sourness of the lemon juice. It was really yummy. I do honestly think that you guys should give this recipe a try. Finally, we have the steak pie, which brings me back to the time that I lived in England. And I actually have a story to share over here. <laughs> I actually messed up my pie recipe. Originally, I started with uh, cold butter, cold flour, the traditional recipes that you find online for pie for pie dough and it just did not come together right and I'm sharing this story with you guys uh, because when you're cooking food from scratch sometimes you make a mistake and it's okay because you can redo it you can try something different and in doing so you might learn something new and the results might surprise you that's just kind of what I did uh, because my dough, as you can see, is kind of cracking and it's sticking to the cutting board. Um, it wasn't working. So I found a new recipe and this was a cool recipe because it required hot water as opposed to cold butter or cold ingredients. And it was simply oil, flour, hot water and some salt that came together and it rolled out kind of nicely. It does very much look like a homemade pie, a homemade pie crust. But in a pinch, it works. And I was able to continue on with the rest of my recipe. Okay, so now for the rest of the recipe. I cut a chuck roast into smaller cubes and then I browned them in a hot skillet with butter, flour, salt and pepper. I think savory pies are so good and they are so versatile you could throw in pretty much anything that you have in the fridge along with the meat potatoes spinach beans squash whatever else you might have on hand would go in pretty well in this pie I deglazed the meat with lemon juice, but you could also use some vinegar or a good ale would work here too. I also think that it makes a really good picnic dish if you are planning a picnic.